You, there's no reason to buy a novelty helmet anymore. And I don't know why they're selling about a million of them a year, but if they're responsible for one in six motorcycle deaths across this country, shouldn't we be doing something about it? Hello, everyone. I'm Leslie Rohde with AskTheLawyers.com. Welcome to another episode of Ask the Lawyers. Today, we're talking about motorcycle safety, and in particular, we're talking about novelty helmets. We're happy today to have attorney Claude Weil with us of Cholos, Cholos & Weil in San Francisco. Thanks for being here. Nice to talk to you, Leslie. Thanks for having me. I, I don't know about these novelty helmets. Get us up to date on what they really are. Well, novelty helmets in California are not legal to use on the road. In 19 states in the United States, we have actual helmet laws that say, as an adult, you have to wear a helmet while riding a motorcycle, and it has to be a DOT-approved helmet. In some states, you don't need to, but in any state, novelty helmets are a bad idea. They're not safe. Um, want me to tell you what they are? Okay. Novelty helmets look a lot like a regular helmet, but what is a helmet designed to do? It's designed to stop things from flying on the road and, uh, and flying into your head and going through and, and having the impact affect your head. Um, so DOT approved helmets, those are legal helmets, are designed to stop intrusion of flying objects. Novelty helmets are made of super light materials that feel really good, but don't really stop anything from impacting your head. So a rock, um, a, a bird beak, a lot of things can go through them. So one of the main things that helmets are designed to do, novelty helmets just don't do. They don't stop anything from going through. They are made for lightness and for style, and they're not made to, to uh, stop impact from the outside. Second thing helmets are supposed to do is they're supposed to have the right stuff inside to protect your head from a brain injury or death in the event that you have a fall. Novelty helmets often have extremely little to no padding at all, maybe just a little thin layer of material, which makes it light, makes it comfortable, makes it cool, not just cool to look at, but cool in terms of less heat. And it's overall much nicer uh, appearance. However, it does nothing to save your brain. So it's not as hard on the outside. It's made of different materials. It doesn't have the right materials on the inside. And the third thing is DOT or legal approved helmets have straps that are not supposed to come off in the event of a crash. Non-DOT helmets can come off while at, when somebody falls or when somebody's rolling on the road or off the road and the straps can come off, the buckles can come off, things can just fly off and the helmet for whatever good it might have done you is somewhere other than the rider once you've taken a fall. Um, so they don't withstand any penetration, they don't have impact attenuation, they don't stay on your head and they're not DOT approved so they're not legal to actually wear when you're riding. They don't sound These safe at all. These are novelty helmets. Yeah, That's, those are novelties. As you said, more for style, I would assume. Um, the people who make novelty helmets and who distribute them and who sell them retail are absolutely unapologetic. They sell them on the internet, and there's about 800,000 to a million of these sold in the United States every year. And this is a shocking and scary statistic. As time has progressed, more and more people are wearing novelty helmets instead of legal helmets that are going to protect their heads. And the statistic is that the amount of novelty helmets being used every year is going up. At the same time, the amount of motorcycle deaths every year is going up when vehicular deaths from other types of collisions are going down. So cars are getting safer. Riding a motorcycle for people using a novelty helmet is getting far less safe. As a matter of fact, I've read statistics that the novelty helmets are responsible for one in four motorcycle deaths. That's 25%. That seems a little high to me, but I trust another statistic, and that is one in six motorcycle deaths are caused or contributed to by a novelty helmet. 
In other words, wearing a helmet that doesn't work at all. Have tests been done on these helmets to prove to people that they're not safe? You know, uh, NHTSA, the uh, National Highway Transportation Association uh, for the United States, became concerned about novelty helmets in about 2007, and they actually compared DOT helmets, DOT approved helmets, versus novelty helmets in a series of tests uh, involving you know, penetration, like we talked about, as well as impact attenuations, where they put the helmet on a dummy head and, uh, and bounced it and hit it at various uh, impacts. The DOT-approved helmet um, came away with flying colors, and the person inside that helmet would have survived, whereas, well, get ready for this, the novelty helmet or non-DOT-approved helmet produced a 100% injury rate and the great potential for skull fracture and death. So the tests show they just don't work at all. How common is it for people to use these? Well, as, as I just touched upon a second ago, it's unfortunately really common. Yeah. Um, years ago, when, uh, when many states were passing helmet laws, it became kind of a kind of a symbol of resistance or rebellion. Like, I don't want the helmet law to be in effect, so I'm going to wear something that looks like it's legal, but it's not, and it's my method of uh, resistance, my method of being cool and relating to my hardcore biker buddies because we don't like helmets. So um, the Sons of Anarchy show, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the show Sons of Anarchy, a very popular show regarding a motorcycle club in California. And when the Sons of Anarchy came out, they all wore these little half helmets and not a single helmet in that show worn by a single club member. And I've looked at all the photos online that I could find, not one single helmet, despite the fact that these guys are supposed to be in California, not one was DOT approved. Everybody in that show was wearing illegal helmets. When that show came out with a bunch of handsome stars and compelling stories, the sales of novelty helmets in California and other states went through the roof. Everybody wanted to look like the guys on Sons of Anarchy. And now, if you go on Amazon and you or you Google Sons of Anarchy helmet, it comes up. It says, well, these non-DOT helmets won't really protect you in the event of a crash, but the ladies love them. Or they look really cool. They're, they're not as good, but they, they seem sturdy. And, and, and we think they'll help you some, but you know, if you really are worried about safety, get a DOT approved helmet. But if you want it to be lighter, cheaper, more comfortable, have a better profile, have better graphics, hmm. buy one of our novelty helmets. Oh, and by the way, the same helmet might cost you 60 bucks if it's legal because you got to put all this padding in it and it's got to be made of other materials and it's got to have a chin strap that works. But our novelty helmets are only $22 on Amazon. Guess what else, Leslie? We know that they're not legal in California without a DOT sticker. So a lot of people buy things on Amazon. And you know that little thing that says frequently bought together? Yeah. That frequently bought together, you scroll down on the page when you're buying your novelty helmet. Guess what it comes with? A DOT sticker that you can put on yourself. Oh. So it's a sham. And I think people are nincompoops, honestly, for, for wearing these helmets. I'm sorry for the bikers I offend. It's just, um, it's just not right. It's not smart. But the way they are marketed, they make you sexier, better looking. It's cheaper. And guess what? The cops won't bother you because all you got to do is put on a DOT sticker. So the motorcyclists are wearing these in an effort to get something cheaper, lighter, more comfortable, and better looking and sexier. But... They don't want to get a ticket. So if they don't get a ticket, they'll wear them. Problem is, if anything happens on that bike and that biker's head hits the pavement, there's an extremely high rate of injury and death. Attorney Claude Weil of San Francisco, thank you very much for talking with us. Very nice talking to you, Leslie. Thank you for asking. I want to remind you, if you are ready to choose a lawyer that lawyers choose, be sure to go to askthelawyers.com first. Also, please take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel there by clicking below. We'd love you to do that. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Leslie Rohde with AskTheLawyers.com.